tomorrow, yeah. Mary, and really overnight early into Saturday is when we're really waiting to kind of see what's going to come down. Yeah, we're going to get a few rain showers tomorrow, but it looks like our impacts are going to be for Saturday. And right now it is debatable where those impacts are going to be. Mm -hmm. Let me take you to the forecast and show you what we're looking at. The low pressure center we've been following is that little swirly bit. You can see it just towards the Pacific Northwest. Uh, that is the main circulation and the storm system actually uh, stretches all the way down across portions of the Intermountain West. Uh, what has happened and what we expected to happen was that the southernmost portion of that storm piece of energy is going to break off, separate from the main flow, and that will continue to progress our direction, creating our weekend storm. Notice we've got uh, some showers here across parts of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we're going to see this storm really intensify. In fact, it's going to intensify right over the state of Colorado. And if you didn't know this, I'm going to tell you real quick. Um, that happens a lot <laughs> in Colorado. Um, the axis point here east of the Rockies uh, is where these systems develop their surface low pressure centers. So people in Oklahoma and the Mississippi River Valley, they know what's coming because it's developed right here. But because it develops right here is why forecasting is a very challenging. We can take the jokes, uh, but it uh, goes without saying that this is probably one of the most challenging places to work is here right just east of the Rockies because of that component alone. So uh, having said that I'm going to take you through uh, the winter storm alerts across portions of the Intermountain West. You can see it's kind of a wide array of winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings. Uh, we've got those winter storm warnings across portions of the high country with a foot to two feet of snow uh, that will come in for Friday through Saturday, tapering off by Sunday. Uh, winter storm watches going up here across the wet mountains of Sangre de Cristos as well as northern El Paso County. Uh, this is where the confidence is the highest. So just because we don't see a winter weather highlight in Colorado Springs doesn't mean it's not going to to happen. It just means the National Weather Service is issuing these highlights where the confidence is the highest for heavy snow as of right now. We're still 36 hours out. So uh, notice though, this is a look at those preliminary snowfall estimates. I would say up towards northern El Paso County, a very sharp drop off here between that four to seven inch range, uh, closer to that three to five inch range, possible south, closer to Colorado Springs. Uh, what is likely to happen is we're likely to get upslope flow, which is a lot of energy that helps to generate generate snow across parts of Colorado Springs and then jet stream induced bands of snow, which means uh, we're going to get a lot more instability right up against the mountains, which is going to contribute to higher snowfall rates. So that would mean, you know, rates such as two to three inches an hour. That's on the higher side, uh, but the more instability you have, the heavier the snow is going to be and the faster it's going to fall. Notice across portions of the Sangre de Cristos, anywhere between one to two feet, probably need to increase those totals for the higher terrain areas, the wet mountain valley, closer to that five to 10 inch range. Uh, I would say Pueblo and Colorado Springs, this is probably where the confidence is the lowest. Uh, if that southerly track really holds true tonight through the models, uh, it looks like we may need to increase our totals around Pueblo and parts of Colorado Springs. But for right now, that is a look at those preliminary snowfall estimates. Here's how things shake out with the forecast model. Here we are Friday afternoon. Most of the heavy snow west of I-25 may see a few rain showers overnight Friday into Saturday, but most of the energy and moisture doesn't really come together until Saturday mid morning and into the afternoon. The other component is going to be the lack of cold air. If we can get more evaporative cooling taking over and the system cools itself, we will see the snow. If that doesn't happen and it hits into the afternoon, it's likely we might see a lot of melting and just well, more of a mixed bag of precipitation. I certainly think higher terrain areas are going to get the heavier snow, though. The snow shuts down Saturday night and into Sunday, so we will be tapering off few residual rain and snow showers across the eastern plains for Sunday, but most of the area is clearing out entirely by Sunday mid morning into the afternoon. So cooler this weekend, snow showers likely to be impactful by Saturday. Pueblo also looking at a lot of cloud cover tomorrow. Most of the day parts dry. Your impacts really set up uh, with the possibility for impacts north of Pueblo through Saturday afternoon. Monument impacts likely by Saturday morning through Saturday evening, tapering off with those snow showers by early Sunday and areas around parts of Woodland Park. Also higher impacts Friday night through Saturday and then tapering off by Sunday. Canyon City looking at also that changeover to heavy snow possible Saturday afternoon. A lot happening. Mary, thanks. After a rough Wednesday, a nice bounce back for Walter.